Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy yourself, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here, you made it. Thank you for watching at home. Well, guys, last night here on NBC was the third Republican presidential debate, and it's being described as, quote, unhinged. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was name-calling, wild rants, and personal attacks. Mm. Even Trump was watching, like, game, recognize game. <laughs> Game recognize game. <laughs> yeah, it was vicious. At one point, Lester Holt was like, we interrupt this debate with a Real Housewives reunion already in progress. <laughs> it was quite a night. During the two-hour debate, Nikki Haley got the most questions, Tim Scott spoke the longest, and Ron DeSantis spoke the <clears throat> shortest. <laughs> Yet one of the big moments from the night was when Vivek Ramaswamy went after Nikki Haley's daughter for being on TikTok. Watch this. I want to laugh at why Nikki Haley didn't answer your question, which is about looking at families in the eye. In the last debate, she made fun of me for actually joining TikTok while her own daughter was actually using the app for a long time. So you might want to take care of your family first. Leave my daughter out of your voice. Adult daughter. The next generation of Americans are using it. Here's the truth. You're just the easy scum. answer. Ooh. Then the moderator tried to calm things down. He was like, Nikki, Vivek, remember, none of you are going to be president. <laughs> <laughs> just, wanna, just, just calm it down. Calm down. <laughs> Not only did the attack backfire for Vivek, it also went viral on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> and get this, uh, for a while now, Tim Scott has claimed to have a girlfriend, but no one has ever seen her. And donors have been worried it's hurting him in the race, so after the debate, he brought her up on stage. Yeah. When asked how they met, she was like, I was his Uber driver on the way over here. <laughs> it was a smart move by Tim Scott. He's probably not going to be president, but at least people know that he has a fake girlfriend. So that's good. <laughs> she lives in Canada. You guys don't know her. She doesn't go to school here. Meanwhile, former President Trump didn't attend the debate and instead held his own rally just a few miles away. It was the first time a Trump rally was the less chaotic Republican event. <laughs> During the rally, Trump said Republicans should stop wasting time on debates. Then he said, and let's also stop wasting time on elections and just declare me the winner. Okay, come on. <laughs> Switching gears, you guys, here's some great news. After 118 days, the Screen Actors Guild reached a deal with the Hollywood Studios. <laughs> So, tune in tomorrow when my guests will be everyone. <laughs> uh, yes, the interesting that the... The guys from Please Don't Destroy, oh my gosh, oh, well, welcome. I, what, what, are you, what, are, what are you guys doing here? Shouldn't you be up at SNL? Dude, I, I, I'll tell you what we're doing here. What? We were on the show three days ago and we couldn't talk about our movie because the actor's strike. Yeah, but now it's over and we can talk about it, so why don't you book us? What do you mean, why would we book you? We're just here. Yeah, but we weren't able to talk about our movie, Please Don't Destroy the Treasure of Foggy Mountain, coming out on Peacock. Yeah, well... <laughs> well, you come back and you can, and you can talk about it. Yeah. We have booked tonight. We're fully booked. We have Jared Leto on the show tonight. <laughs> well, what movie does he have coming out? He's not talking about a movie, he? he's announcing a world tour with 30 Seconds to Mars. So, so he's not talking about Please Don't Destroy the Treasure of Foggy Mountain coming out November 17th on Peacock? No, he's not talking about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, who else is on the show? AJR is on the show tonight. But... <laughs> so AJR is going to talk about Please Don't Destroy the Treasure of Foggy Mountain coming out on Peacock.com. November 17th, you can sign up today. Uh, no, AJR is not going to talk about that at all. They're, they're, they're a great band, and they have a new album coming out tonight. At midnight, actually, tonight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So then... <laughs> I mean, I just don't understand how the hell anyone is going to find out about Please Don't Destroy the Treasure of Foggy Mountain, which is coming out uh, November 17th on Peacock. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to happen. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to let you down. Okay. All right, we're gonna go do Seth. Um, before, <laughs> before we leave, we just wanna say this audience is the best audience in the world. Get out of here. Get 
Jimmy. <laughs> Bye, guys. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Please don't destroy. Please don't destroy, guys. No one's going to talk about it. Strike is. <laughs> That's just uh, uh, so funny. Uh, guys, anyway, uh, as I was saying, the strike is finally over. That's right. When the actors heard a deal had been reached, they gasped, screamed, laughed, cried, and then were like, I also do accents. <laughs> Seriously, the actors are back just in time. I'm not sure the world could handle another reality dating show. Am I right? <laughs> Speaking of, I don't like you recognize maybe two of those. Come on. <laughs> Speaking of, tonight was the Women Tell All episode of The Golden Bachelor. Ooh. Yeah, because who doesn't love hearing their grandma describe sex? <laughs> you pulled a muscle in the fantasy suite? I pulled a muscle in the fantasy suite. Uh, do you guys see this? Uh, starting next month, Disney Plus and Hulu are going to be merged into the same app. Ooh. Yep, streamers are emerging. Pretty soon, they're going to be all in one giant app called Cable. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? What have we done? Yep, Disney Plus and Hulu are merging into one app. That's good. Now when your kid tries to turn on Bluey, he'll wind up binging Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good to see you, bud. I feel like we haven't caught up in a while. Oh, wow. I'm good. Thanks for checking in, buddy. <laughs> what have you been up to lately? Not much. Well, I was in Grand Rapids the other day. Oh, how was that? Good. Got a little trouble getting an Uber, but I figured it out. In Grand Rapids over the weekend, an Amazon truck was stolen and then taken on a joyride. <laughs> what else have you been up to? You know, lots of travel. Checked out this small town called McKee's Rocks. Just watch cars go by, it's great. Police in McKee's Rocks arrested a man they say was trying to expose himself to passing drivers. <laughs> Sounds like you've been busy. Uh, anything else? Let me think. Um, I went to my house in Connecticut, just west of Hartford, did some gardening, so, oh, so relaxing. In Burlington, Connecticut, west of Hartford, a man is now charged with running an illegal psychedelic mushroom growing operation out of a house. Wow. You've had a lot on your plate. Yeah. That's what went down to my winter place, the villages in Florida. You know me, work hard, play hard. A man who lives in the villages was arrested by the feds, accused of having thousands of dollars worth of illegal pills used to treat erectile dysfunction. Well, it was nice catching up with you. Do, hang on, on the, on the phone with my doctor. Oh. Yeah, well, it's been way longer than four hours. All right, uh, Steve Higgins, everybody. Steve. Guys, I heard about two women in Michigan who were accused of embezzling $20,000 from a Girl Scout troop. Oh. $20,000. That's almost the amount your coworker guilts you into buying each year. <laughs> Apparently, one of the women accused was like, she did it. I was just a tag along. <laughs> Uh, guys, listen to this. A U.S.-bound flight from London had to turn around after crew members realized that the plane was missing two windows. <laughs> then they landed and were like, oh, crap, we're also missing two passengers. 